Welcome back to Primetime Sports Thursday. Local sports governing bodies are urging school administrators to be, to be more proactive to deal with the issue of abuse of student athletes by their coaches. More in part two of our report on this vexed issue. Jamaica's sex offenders register is a closed one but is available for use by prescribed persons under the Child Care and Protection Act. On Wednesday, the children's advocate Diane Gordon Harrison urged the principals who are on the list of prescribed persons to make use of the register. The register permits interested parties who can establish a very good basis for getting information out of the registry to receive that information. So one of the things I've advocated for, for example, is that if you're a prospective employer of a teacher, of a coach, of somebody who is volunteering with a youth group or with a music um, you know, band or something, is if Karen Madden comes and says, I'm applying for this particular job, then it is incumbent upon you if you're being responsible and doing your due diligence to establish a case. President of the Inter-Secondary School Sports Association, Dr. Walton Small, agrees. You have to be careful, though, that if the person is not convicted as a principal, you can't deny the person, the, 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 hiring the person on the ground that the person has done something or abused a child. Unless you check the registry where the person is convicted and is placed on the registry, then you can say, no, I'm not employing. And with concern mounting, Small is insisting that the governing body for school sports takes a zero tolerance approach to coaches abusing their charges. At ISO, we literally go with the the position taken by the government in that this is a situation that cannot be tolerated. So if we are aware that any coach at all is um involved in abuse of a child, we are not going to be supporting any of those um, coaches um, working with our students. But like the Office of the Children's Advocate and Sissoka, Small, who will step down as Issa boss in June to enter representational politics, says that the anecdotal reports outstrip actual complaints. For example, if, if it was like this, the person who has been abused, if the person came to you to say, look, this is happening, or the parent of that child would come down and say, look, this has happened, then we can move from there. But if you're just hearing that, the anecdotal thing on the road, you have to be careful about doing that. You could get yourself into serious problems. And the General Secretary of the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association, Garth Gale, says this association is guided by the international governing body in ensuring that junior athletes are protected from potential predators. The IAF has some policies in regards to uh, how officials uh, go on teams. For instance, if the team has junior girls... Um, you must have a female chaperone. And Gail says coaches have been removed if allegations against them make their involvement problematic. We are very mindful of the IAF rules and, 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 more, and more so of late that any individual that an allegation is made against, we make sure that such an individual does not travel or participate with any of our national teams, junior and senior. 